everyone, um, welcome to this week's Toddler Ballet. Um, if you haven't joined us before, my name is Sabina Cox um, and I teach little ones ballet. Um, I used to be a dancer myself um, and now I'm a teacher and love doing that. So I thought I would share um, a few little bits of the things I do with my um, little ones week on week um, from home for you to try at home too. So um, I bring my little ballet bunny with me and she comes and joins in our classes as well so I will put her down today. I'm not thinking of using her today but sometimes she does do a few of our exercises with us too so feel free little ones to go and get your own toy too and they can come and watch you or you can help them to join in as well if you like. There she is. Right, shall we warm up? So I'm going to put our hands on our waist and I've shown you this before, but we must keep our fingers glued together and they're going to go wrap round our waist and I've got my thumbs to the back, so if you can see there, they're wrapping round nicely and I'm going to do four little plies in parallel, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, marching, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's give that a little go. It's going to warm everything up. And when we do our marches, make sure we're really pointing our feet on the ends. Right, let's have a little go. Here we go. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four. One, two. ready for our good toes and naughty toes. Sit so down onto the floor. If you've done this before, you'll know it well. We do good toes with really stretched feet. Good toes, naughty toes. Good toes, naughty toes. Good toes, naughty toes. Good toes, naughty toes. Push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good toes and Good toes, naughty toes. Good toes, naughty toes. Good toes, naughty toes. Push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, with those pushes, I'm starting with crossed arms in front of me. Crossed down, crossed all the way to the top, and then I'm following my arms to the sides, and I'm really bending my elbow here. I'm making sure I feel the ends of my fingers. So maybe wake them up now, give them a wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. And I really want the fingers 
to be involved in that too. So they're not just dead at the end. It's not just my elbow doing the work, my fingers. Imagine that you're brushing some silk, something really soft on the ends, yes? Let's have a go. Here we are, right. And, good, toes, naughty. Really stretched feet in front of you, good toes, naughty. Good toes, naughty toes. all while your feet are working. Lots to think about here, even though we're sitting. Push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely. Shake it all about. There we go. Are those feet feeling warm? Did they really stretch on a good toe? And did they really flex on a naughty? Naughty, naughty, and good, good, good. Lovely, that's what I'm after. Right, our next exercise is our pony trots. So, if we've done this before, we'll know it well. We're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so I'm just going round in a circle. Doesn't matter how much space you have, even if it's not very much, just keep it round in a little circle. And I'm doing my pony trots like this, so I'm holding onto my reins and I'm bringing up my pony trots in front of me, so I've got a slightly bent knee. It's almost like a a 90 degree angle almost, and I'm trotting in front of me like that with, you guessed it, a good toe on the very end. Yes, let's see if we can do that and keep really pulled up. Here we go. And where are we? Where's my music? Feeling tall. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one. going through the pour de bras and this is called your first pour de bras up to fifth and round so I'm cover I'm imagining my balloon in front of me and my arms are going round the balloon all the way to the top and round the sides yes so see if you can follow your fingers we'll do it one more time here we go and feeling tall and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three. Good. Relax those knees in the plate, plie. shoulders and circle them the other way. Excellent. 
Lovely, right. Let's do some plies now. So, and to start, in a little first position, we're gonna practice our diamonds. So I've got my little firsts here. I've got my arms in a bra bar, this is called, and I'm going to do four plies, four little diamonds. So, one and a two, three and a four, five and a six, and seven and eight. One and a two, three and a four, tonju to second and lower. So this here with my wide feet is called a second position. I'm going to do some second plies. So one and a two, three and a four, five and a six, seven and eight, one and a two, lower three and a four, Tonju to second and close to first. Yes, so this is really to practice our diamonds in first, lovely diamond shape there, and then in second to make sure that we're really grounded as well. So I'm not favouring one side, I'm not more on that side or more on that side, I'm actually right down in the middle and I'm making sure my knees are right over the centre of my toes. They're not trying to go out too far and they're not coming in so that my little ankles are rolling forward. They're just right out in a true second to you. All right, let's have a little go. one actually because to really focus to get from here up to a rise requires a lot of effort from every muscle actually and it really helps if you have that image in your head of someone really pulling you up so that you feel so tall like you're on top of the world like you're the tallest person in this world yes oh really high oh way above the clouds lovely all right well done everyone. Hopefully that got our plies practice. So now we're going to do our spring points. If you've got a skirt, holding your skirt. If you don't, just your arms there. And we're going to do the same as we did last week, actually starting in a little first. And we're going to go point and point and point. And a pique, pique, pique. One and two and three. Pique, pique, pique. And one and two and three. Pique, pique, pique. And oh, hooray, this. Way and for her way that way. Yes, let's have a little go. So remembering the hot, hot floor and remembering not to drop our leg. We don't want a heavy leg, we want a really, really, really light leg. Light, light, light. Yes. Right, let's have a go. One, two, three, 
I wonder whether on top of that, when we did our bure, you saw that I finished there. I had one leg in front of the other one and I'm remembering right to the end of my fingertips. So I've not got to that point. I've not forgotten about them. I've actually remembered the very end because that finishes the line off nicely. It doesn't quite look so finished like that, but it looks much more finished like that. Yes, maybe we can have a go practicing that this week. Our next exercise is a pour de bras. And we did this last week, I think. We're gonna start in a little first position, like that. And I'm going to go this way first. So I'm gonna go, sha, se, and, uh, up, uh, sha, se, and, a fifth. Plie, and up, plie, and, uh, up, down, and, uh, up, to the hip position, down, and, uh, up, to the other side. And plie and up, plie and a fifth, plie and up, plie and fifth, and round we go. Little berets on the spot, down and up, little beret to the other side. Yes, let's have a little go. So it's really controlled. And this exercise, I'm going to really focus on my arms and where they're going. So I'm going through a beautiful first position to that position. So it's one arm low, the other arm high, and then I go through it to fifth again. Plie to there, plie to fifth, and I bury round up to fifth, and I go again. Yes, let's have a go with the music. Here we are. Oh, a bit loud. Okay, so. Good. relax my knee slightly so it looks like I'm moving my feet more than they are but they're actually staying quite on the spot and my knees are doing a lot of work yes and maybe one day if you ever go into a point shoe girls you'll really have to cross those legs even more because you'll be that much higher on point and you'll have to keep everything crossed yes so it's a good idea to practice now that you're not in a point shoe, practice that crossing of the legs. Yes, all right, well done. Now we're going to do an exercise, I don't think we've done it yet, called a tonneve. And it's a jump, and you go like this on a tonneve. Yes, bah. yes, so I'm stepping onto one leg and I'm jumping off it, and my back leg is straight. Step and jump. I'm going to go, step, jump, step together, step, jump, step together, step, jump, step together, step, jump, step together, down, round, and then we go again, round, and then we're going to jump again, so time away, bah. step together, step together, step together, step together, down, round, and down, round. Lovely. Right, let's see whether we can have a go. So we want to feel again, 
jumping off. Remember, if we can, when we're jumping to have an extra good toe on the very end. Yes? Ba, ba. Right, let's get some music going and see whether we can manage that. Ready? Here we go. One. YouTube channel then you'll be updated on all of the different classes in the week so then um, yeah hopefully we'll be back next week thank you so 